Right, the first thing we're going to make for this trailer is the bed. So we're going to, going to do this by making it 26 studs long and 8 wide. Doesn't matter what pieces you use, just as long as it's 26 by 8. Right, and when you get to the end of your trailer, you want to leave a gap for four studs long, just in the middle there. So now we'll flip all these pieces over, exactly the same spot. And then we'll grab some white pieces to hold it all together. Again, it doesn't really matter what type of pieces you use, just as long as it works and it all stays clipped together. So, maybe easier to clip on each piece separately. Like I'm doing. Doesn't matter what colour um, pieces you use here because you're not going to be able to see them anyway. Alright, there we go. And now we will add some grey pieces down the sides. It doesn't really matter, I'm just using this, I think, 10 by 1 piece. These are going down the ends to clip them all, clip all the pieces together. like a jigsaw puzzle putting all the pieces on. Right, so once you're done it should look like this. With this white square two by two piece, one stud in from here and a gap just at the end. Now I'm just going to flip it around and cover up this hole here. Grab two 4x2 plates, clip one there, Oops. and one there. And then we'll grab four, two, two 4x1 um, plates and clip them there. Just like that. Now flip it back around, and then we need to add two four by one, four, sorry, four by two black plates with the holes in them in the middle. And clip them on top of each other, and then just put it on that hole, that gap that we left earlier, just like that. Make sure everything's clipped down, and then what we're going to do. Going to grab an 8 by 2 piece again with the holes down the middle and two little red um, 1 by 1 squares and we'll clip 1 by 1 red squares just here, just like that. And then we'll clip this piece on top. Now this creates a spot for us to clip our little peg in so that this can hold the trailer 
onto the cabin of the truck. Right now, moving down to the end, we're going to put this. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 by 2 black plate. And that's just going to go right down the middle here. Just like that. There we go. And then we need to grab two clip pieces. And they go here and here. Next we will grab a six by two black plate and just clip that on top of that, locking it all in position. There we go. And then we'll grab another six by two plate and clip that along to make a T. There we go. Now we're going to create the wheel where the wheels go. So we'll just put that side and grab one of these frames that are eight by six round and just hold all around the side and then we'll grab four peg pieces, light grey pegs, and just clip them on so that they're one in and there's a three hole gap between them. There we go. And then we'll put an 8x2 black plate along the middle, just like that. And then we need to grab two bracket pieces and they go on either side of the, um, the black plate in the middle. There we go. And then we need to grab two two by one black bricks, clip them on the ends, and two dark grey two by one bricks with the um, cross hole in the middle and clip that above the brackets on either side of the black brick. And then we are ready to clip it on to the bottom of this bed. So to do that, we flip the bed around and clip it so that it's just above these clips and the other side is just on the end of that T. I'm not sure if you can see it there. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So now we're going to make a stand to hold the trailer up and stop it. Right, for the stand you will need one six by one plate, two one by one cylinders, two dark grey bricks with a stud on the side. I just use ones on a hole and stuck a blue peg in it. And then we need two one by one orange studs that are smooth on the top and two two by one dark grey plates, two little dark grey um, wedges and two of these brackets. Now you want to make sure that these brackets, this part here is facing away from the little lip. I'm not sure if you can see it too well. Maybe there. You can see that little lip. So we've got to make sure so that when you fold it up, it folds like that. Right, now to assemble it, we put the two cylinders on the ends of the 6x1 plate. Put, grab our two 2x1 
two by one plates, clip that there, grab our two wedges and clip it on the sides, like that, and then clip our little bracket, um, bracket pieces, pieces of studs on the side, and then we can clip our orange studs on. Then we're also going to need a 2 by one dark grey brick and that just goes in the middle just like that make sure everything's all clipped in as you can see these are pushing out a little bit that doesn't really matter they shouldn't pop off and then we put on our pieces hinge pieces now you can make this if you don't have all these pieces you can make it however you need to as long as it as it is three bricks high and two plates high and as long as it touches the ground when it's um, extended so now we clip this piece just on top of that white plate and then we can fold it down when you're not using it and fold it up when we want the trailer to rest. There we go. And now we will create the back lights that clip onto here. Back of the truck. Actually. And now we will going to create some storage spaces underneath here. To do that, we're going to need a eight by four dark grey plate, four by one brick with the studs down the side, four by one dark grey plate, two of these two by one clip pieces, one light grey 4x1 plate a 2x1 piece that's got this little edge down the side a 4x1 light grey flat tile and two ladder pieces alright so to assemble we grab our dark grey plate and our 4x1 plate and clip that on the end. Then we grab our bracket, bracket um, pieces of studs down the side. Um, two, our two of these clip pieces. Our pieces edge. So just clip them all together like that and it should look like that. Then we grab our flat tile and lock them all in place and finally we finish it off with 4x1 light grey piece and then we just clip these on like that there we go creates a nice little storage space and we just clip this underneath just as far back as it can go and it should be right here right on the end of the black don't push, don't push down the middle of this other eyes it will flop down now to put our cargo storage in I'm using these prison doors they actually work really well with like a fence on the top that we just you can fit four in one, two, three, four, and you just close the fences, the uh, ladders, and there we go. Pretty neat. Now we're going to create our back part, 
I just clicked onto here. Do that, we are going to need one eight by two black plate. Doesn't really matter if it has holes in it. I just can't find any other ones. And two two one by one red pieces, two one by one red wedges, transparent, they're both transparent. Then an eight by one dark grey tile. I just had one that had this pattern, the hazard pattern look, and I thought that would work really well for the back of the throw train. And you're also going to need a number plate, number plate piece. Doesn't matter what size is it, it is, as long as it's no bigger than 4x1. And two little dark grey studs. And a 6x1 light grey plate. Now we clip the 6x1 light grey plate on, just on the bottom. We clip this sticker tile piece on the top. Our two wedges go here and here. And then our light pieces go there. And then we grab our little one by one dark grey tiles, our number plate sticker, and there are the little tile. And clip it all up and it should look like that. And then this just clips on the end here. Oops. There we go. Alright, now we're going to create the steps or whatever you want to call it. They go on the end of the truck, they just fold down. Alright, to do that we will need two 8x2 light grey plates, two 6x1 light grey plates, two 2x1 clip pieces that look like this, light grey, two 2x1 two light grey plates, two 2x4 two light grey plates, and finally two orange 1x1 one one studs. Alright, so now we will flip these over, like that, we'll create both of them at the same time, grab our 2x1 plates and clip them on the outside here, just put them there, the 6x1 plate can go there, and then the clip pieces just go right on the end, like that. And then the other one, just like that. And then the 4x1, 4x2 plate, sorry, just goes next to that. Just there, like that. And we'll do the same for the other trailer. That should hold everything together nicely. And then we just put our little orange stud right in the middle of the 4x2 plate. There we go, if you've done it correctly it should look like this. Now we clip it on. So this one goes here and this one goes here. There we go. And then you can just fold them up. And now we'll just put the wheels on. I'm using the same wheels that I used on the cabin of the truck. And we just push them all on here. I want to make sure everything's clipped down. So that's nice and secure. And the other side. There we go. I'm not quite sure if you can see all the trailer. There we go. And then to put it 
onto the cabin, we just push up our stand and clip, put the peg in that hole, just like that, and it is on. Now I went ahead and made three more trailers, and pretty much the same way. I just couldn't, didn't have enough pieces to do exactly the same and so that we can attach all trailers together we need to create an attachment piece here right so we need two of these right angle black pieces one of these light grey um, peg pieces I'm not sure what you call it it's got the two holes two little red uh, technique axles and one light grey technique axles that are three studs long and to assemble it all we just push technique axle through there light grey peg and put our two right angle pieces on like that and our little red ones just go on the ends like that and this just goes onto the um, pieces that we have here the crosses in them and then that little peg can go into the hole on the, the outermost sole like that now on this trailer as you can see I did not put any ladder pieces for storage I put some little cupboards you could call them and they hold some clip pieces And I've got that on the other side too. And as you can probably also see, I do not have these. I just, rather than putting the clips, I just put, filled it in with like some black and grey pieces, so you won't really know. And I also made a third trailer in pretty much the same way as the first one. Except I just didn't have another ladder piece, so I just use this black fence. So as you can see, they're all a little different, but they all look pretty much the same. And then we just can put them all together. And I like to put the one, the one that I made with these, at the end of the tra uh, road train. So big, you can't see it all on the screen. There we go. Thanks for watching this video. I will be posting the other parts of this um, road train series weekly, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next parts. And thanks for watching.